Assalamualaikum and a very good morning to all of my beloved pupils at home. Okay. So for today, I just want to have a short video regarding your task for today. Okay, stay tuned. So I hope you have already watched the previous video just now. Okay, so what was that video about? Yes, the primary colors and secondary colors. So, based on the previous video, this is your task for today. First of all, I want you to take your E1 exercise book and then get ready with your pencil and also I want you to have your color pencils. Are you ready? If you have all of this item in front of you, then you're good to go. Let's start now. So first of all, when you open your E1 exercise book, I want you to write down the day and the date, just as usual, just like what we have done in class. For example, today is Tuesday. So write down above there, the left side, Tuesday. Okay, done. So next one is the date. So what date is today? Yes, today is 25th of May 2021. Okay, have you write your day and the date? Good. Okay, so next. The first one is, what is our title for today? The title for today is... So this is our task for today. Let's think and color. But what should we do? Stay tuned. Okay, so I know based on the previous video, you have already know what is primary color, right? So there are three colors of primary color. What was that? You can also refer to your Supermind student's book, all right? Okay, so when you already know what is primary color, the next thing you should do is, I want you to go around your house and then find the thing, anything, any object in your house, maybe in the living room or maybe in the kitchen or maybe in the bedroom or toilet <laughs> anything okay anything any object that you can find the primary color understand no it's okay i'll give you one example here so in primary color here i want you to find at least three things okay at least three things and if you can find more you can go until five things it's okay, alright? So, three things at least if the maximum is five objects or five things. First of all, write the number. Number one. Okay, so for example, I want to go to my kitchen. Okay, I go to my kitchen and then I find, I find and find and find where is the primary color object. And then, for example, I found this one. What is this? Okay, so this is a, yes, a bottle. Water bottle or just call it as bottle. So what color is this? Yes, red in color, right? So red is one of the primary color. So what should I do next? Next, you should draw. Ah, you should draw the object. For example, I found the red bottle. So I need to draw this red bottle in my book. Okay, class. So I have done drawing my bottle. Okay, I have done drawing this bottle, red bottle. So the next thing I should do is color this bottle so you have to take your color pencils and color your object for example right now just imagine this is your color pencil okay so 
you have to color color the object this is only the example okay the example for my drawing on this white board so you can do more okay you can do better you can do more beautiful drawing so this is just an example next it's not complete yet what you should do is you need to write down what is the name beside the object for example this one is a bottle so write down the name beside the object b o t t l e bottle bottle okay bottle okay understand so the next drawing is below there uh, go until number five or at least three number three so just write down number two and then draw your object in primary color and then the name number three the object again and then also the name for example i found the first one is red in color the next one i found a yellow object and then i go into my bedroom and then i found any other object which is in blue color so at least three things and three different colors understand only the primary color so the first one is red in color and then the number two and number three is in another color i hope you understand this task but this is only the first task which is the page one next one is you go to the next page the blank page and then you write down second one is secondary color what is that secondary color so you can refer to your textbook as well or refer to the previous video that i have shared with you just now okay so find out what is secondary color and what are the examples so just like before just like on the page one the previous page you write down number one and then you find anything any object in your house you go to the bedroom or living room or kitchen or toilet anywhere in your house and find out the objects in a secondary color at least three things or three objects if you can go more you want to find more it's okay up to you maybe until number five so don't forget to draw the object just like before and then write the name of the object understand for example i go to my living room and then on the sofa i found a i found a cushion okay so this cushion on the sofa is green in color so green is one of the secondary color that we have learned before so what should i do next i have to color the thing that i have drawn here for example i take my green color pencil and color the cushion as green in color and next write down the name beside the drawing e u s h i o n cushion understand just like before okay so there are two tasks in your e1 exercise book the first page is the primary color object and the next page is the secondary color object so you need to have at least six things three things for primary color object and three things for secondary color objects understand okay class that's all for today i hope you can do your task very well perfectly okay i want to see your drawing your task your complete task in our next gm which is i will inform when is that okay that's all for today assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh see you next time bye bye